Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. This is your Excel Guru. Today with a formula called VLOOKUP. Now this is another version of VLOOKUP. VLOOKUP from different sheets. Uh, I have taken an example over here and the example is for a class of students uh, whose names are John, Mike, Aman, Rajiv, Ashish, Charlie, Kurat, Raju, Janice and so on. Oh, we have the latest hottest Indian sensations, uh, Muni and Sheila too, <laughs> and say these are uh, the subjects, say English, Maths and Science. Now we want to get their marks, uh, how much marks did it score in these subjects and in sheet 3 we have their data. Uh, we have the names on th of the students and the marks of these, sub uh, of these agents of the students in these different subjects. Now we see that uh, the <laughs> that was just a trick. Uh, the marks are in English, Math, Science, History, Geography, and French. And in sheet one, we only need the marks for English, Math, and Science. So how are we gonna do that? So we are gonna use VLOOKUP. So the VLOOKUP formula starts with is equal to V L O O K U P. Well, U P bracket open. Now first thing what did it say look up value that means what do we want to look up for based upon this data we look up would search the different the other data so we have to specify based on this search the other data now you see this is highlighted and it says to go to the next thing table array you need to press comma so now comes table array now table array is your data range where is your data so you need to click on sheet 3 and select your complete data this is my complete data so I select it and then I press comma it says comma now now comes the important part it says column index number now the column index number means that every column this is called a column a vertical stack is called column and a horizontal stack is called a row so if we look up say is from which column do you want the data for John say now we are looking for marks in English so which is in column 2 why is it column 2 because the data from uh, the table array which we select the first column would automati automatically become column 1 so second column is column 2 so I need to say two comma now it says approximate match or exact match so if you press one it will say approximate match if you press zero it will give you exact match so I'll press zero bracket close and enter and here's your result 98 let's just check John got how many marks in English John got 98 marks in English isn't it cool easy to do uh, there's another way of doing it very simple one again so we want to uh, we want to see how many marks did he get for maths. So what we are going to do is we are going to, going to click on formulas, insert function, type in the name of the formula. We look up, click on go. So it says we look up. It says look up H look up if match count if. You know what? As of now I have covered H look up if count if look up and match. I'm gonna cover in the next few days. Let's see. I'm planning to take this video library to around 1500 videos okay so lookup value is again the this area which uh, this range these the names of the students table array is my data range where is my data range this is my data range I have you see it's showing us data because I named it data and column index since I'm doing it for maths so column index for maths was 2 and lookup range is I want to say 0 because I want to get an exact match is equal to 98 I actually did a mistake it should be 3 because maths was 3 let us see maths was 3 this is I mentioned the column numbers for you nice cool so now I'm gonna teach you one more thing how to copy we look up now this is very specific very specific you need to be knowing what you need to do see uh, 
I have applied VLOOKUP over here, VLOOKUP over here. Now if you see in both these things, both these formulas, if you see C11 to C24 data, comma 2, comma 0. C11 to C24 data, comma 3, comma 0. What has changed? The column number. Now if I copy it, then if I just put the column number from here, whichever column number, it will give me the result. Before doing that, we need to do one thing. We need to edit this formula, press F2. We go into the edit mode of the formula. Select your lookup value range, value, and press F4. Press enter. Okay, now do a control C and do a control V. It has given you the same result. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna press F2 again. I'm going to uh, edit mode. Science was in column four. I just type in column four and enter. Answer again, and the, we have the answer. I'm sorry, yeah, I switched back to my native language, Hindi. I'm so sorry. Uh, so we ha this is how we can copy VLOOKUP, and we can do the same for now. This copying was for different in columns. See, uh, we went from English to Maths, from Maths to Science. Now, if you want to copy VLOOKUP just like this to other uh, students also all we need to do is just copy and paste you will get the result the uh, the copy feature I taught you uh, was to move horizontally from here to here but to move it vertically all you need to do is just do cup cut copy and paste I hope you liked it uh, well uh, this train the Excel file shown in this training video is available for free download at my website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com all you need to do is go over here and click on the training files when you go to the training files you can download this training file for free without any charges no I'm not looking for money uh, if you want to give me anything yes go ahead and give me a like on Facebook and give me a subscription on YouTube because when you do that it helps me in spreading the word that yes let's share knowledge I want to share my knowledge with everybody so this is my Facebook page do click on like I'm developing this as of now <laughs> and yes you go to my YouTube page and subscribe so whenever there's a new video uh, you will be updated by uh, YouTube so this was your Excel guru with an, a formula of Excel called VLOOKUP uh, VLOOKUP from different sheets or different uh, workbooks if you can want that so this is your Excel Made Easy Guru signing up for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.